Welcome, Welcome to, to Charm Resorts, Wendy's Townhouse. Hi guys, today we are checking out Charmed Resorts. It is a family resort in Crow's Nest, Alberta, and they have a cabins that are fairy tale themed. I know you guys are major Disney fans, so I think you're gonna appreciate this one. We are actually in Wonder Way, which is kind of like their, what, what would you say, like a different section, a new yeah. build area. Yeah, right. And so in Wonder Way, they have Hook's Pirate Ship, they have Wendy's Townhouse, they have Belle's Cottage, they have the, the Lost Hatters. Boys, and then yeah, the Mad Hatters. And so we are actually going to be staying in Wendy's townhouse. And so there's touches of Wendy, Peter Pan, Lost Boys all around our cabin. So let's go take a look. So the cool thing about every Charmed Resort cabin is you get a fire pit with a little bit of seating, some mushroom seating. You get a picnic table where our kids are hanging out, fun to play games and eat. And then you also either get swing or a slide. So we have a slide at ours, which is really cool. One fun thing about this house is Wendy's. So you have to have a dog house for Nana. So cute. So cute. Well, you actually also have a hammock, Jamie. Well, we get a hammock, yes. We not get everyone. a hammock, not everyone. And then everyone has a hot tub. This is a wood burning one. So you put your wood in. Two person. And then it heats it up. Yeah, it's a little bit two person. And then you also get a barbecue. So should we take a peek at the inside now? Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so here is a tour of the inside of Wendy's townhome. It is absolutely gorgeous. You have a nice little table right here. So in the evening, you can have dinner, play some family games, especially if it's too hot or too cold. And then we have a gorgeous window right here, which is very in the style of Wendy's townhome. Then you have a fireplace here. And yes, this is a working fireplace. It is a gas one, so you can actually do that. Wow. Pretty cool. And then right in the living room, kind of seating area, we have a bed here. We figure this is a double bed. And then there's also a trundle underneath. So perfect for sleeping two to three people right here. Yeah. And the nice thing is too, this all comes with bedding and towels and sheets. So you don't have to bring any of that stuff here. And look at this absolutely gorgeous mural of Peter Pan, mermaids, absolutely. Yeah, if you're, a, if you're a fan of Disney's Peter Pan, you'll see touches of it everywhere. I love it. <laughs> okay, and let's come check out the kitchen and the bathroom. So the kitchen has kind of like a really cool retro fridge, and then you have a sink. It's a more of a kitchenette. You have the sink, you have the microwave, and then there's a full bathroom right there. So let's I'll go let check you that go out. show them Brad. So first, yeah, as you can see, again, the fixtures are just so beautiful. It continue to be themed throughout. There's just this general feeling of a townhome that you're in oh, with all of your towels there. Absolutely beautiful. Almost full-size fridge for your camping needs. And then right behind it, you've got your bathroom. Now, this is actually a very large bathroom. Remember, this is for camping. Obviously, your toilet, but then full shower, full sink vanity. Amazing. And quite large. Mm -hmm. Really quite big. Yeah, it's huge. We actually, we've stayed in the Rapunzel Town's house and the Elven Cottage. That's before. right. This is bigger than both of those. And I would actually say that I like Wendy's better just because of the location. We could drive pretty much right up to it. Where in the other area, we had to park and then kind of go up a hill with all our luggage, which was a little This bit is more. much more convenient. This is more convenient. I'll show you that after we yeah. do the tour but here. I am absolutely loving this. Like, this is gorgeous. So then there's an upstairs. And again, we'll show you all the decor after here, but it's it's so nice. Now, one feature that's really nice is right up there, you can see there's internal AC, full air conditioned, which was not the case in the old cabins. At least it wasn't oh, last year. They might have upgraded again. since then. It gets very hot here around this time of year when camping season's happening in Especially August. Especially with it being two layers, it, you know, you have the upstairs. No, this is so nice. Water, but this is very nice. Okay. So you have some nice decor over here. It's not like Captain Hook pirate ship, Nana picture inspired. You know, it's all kind of inspired and really cool. And then you have a puppet show booth right here. Complete with puppets that your kids can play with and do a puppet show, which I assume Claire is going to be doing later. It's too light right now. I think it's probably better at night. So then you can have like a little puppet show going on, which is really fun. And look at the, again, attention to detail, darling show. On the wall over here, overlooking the stairwell, more art, whimsical, you got a fox there, reminiscent of Neverland, but really reminiscent of camping too. Yeah, and look at this absolutely gorgeous lantern. 
If you don't follow the people that done, do this on Instagram, you kind of see all of their work and how they have such an attention to detail. Finally, behind us is the bedding. Now again, look at the size of this room as I step back here. It's huge. This is a queen bunk bed. Apparently it was kind of hard for them to track down this. This actually fits, well, you could do two, four, you can, this sleeps up to six people. Comfortably. Beds are huge. Again, the bedding, very cute. So pretty. And then right outside, we're going to see the little... First, room. I want to show something. Oh, oh, yeah. Beside oh. each of the beds, you've got places to plug in. Not only your standard plugs, but your USB to charge your phones. That's at both of the bunk beds here. Yeah. Now, Jamie, okay. what else is going on and here? And then out here is the kind of, um, would you call it like a patio deck? Like a, yeah. And then the slide going down. So let's see it. Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> Here are our kids, and Claire's gonna show us going down the slide. Is it pretty cool, London? I was showing Claire all the um, houses, and Claire caught on that all the houses have different stuff that's unique to them. Yeah, that's the cool thing about it. Like, each house is completely different from the fixtures to the fridge that's in there. It's all custom to whatever the theme of that house is. One thing I want to point out, too, is that you can actually have them deliver wood. Which know, they have for us. So we we paid extra. And then also the hot tub, right? Yeah, absolutely. So here's kind of an explanation of the resort. Basically, here's a map. This there's basically two areas. You've got Storybook Square and Wonder Way. Now, Storybook Square. Square was where we stayed last time and has all been developed. You've got a gingerbread cottage, you've got a midsummer cottage, Rapunzel's cottage, uh, you've got Jack's cottage, Alvin's cottage, Leah's cottage, and Rapunzel's tower. Now where we're staying this time is up the way which drove all the way to here. Now what Jamie was describing is how at Storybook Square there's actually a quite a bit of a little hike from the parking to the actual resort up a little bit of a hill and so getting your luggage there's a little bit of a pain. What I really really like about Wonder Way is the parking is right next to the resort. Very easy access. I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. And the four cottages that are complete here are Bell's Cottage, the Lost Boys Treehouse, Wendy's Townhouse, which is what we're staying in, and finally Hook's Ship. That is Charmed Resort, but let's go show it to you now. So here I'm back at the parking. A few things I wanted to show you. First, they have added signage, which is really cute and whimsical, but this is Wonder Way parking, clearly identified. Again, they didn't have as much signage last time we were here. I'm amazed at how much has been developed in just two years. They're doing fabulous work here. What an amazing resort. Then uh, you've also got these wonderful trolleys that you can use, wagons to take your luggage to the cabin that you're staying in. Absolutely love it. So we'll show you a kind of wonder way now and we're bringing our luggage, showing you how close it is to where we're at. There's the parking sign. Here's our vehicle. And right along there is our cabin. All right, using the wagon. Don't judge us for the amount of bags we brought. We've been on the road for two weeks and included a stop in Alaska, so we needed a lot of stuff. But uh, here's our walk from the car to Wendy's house. There we are, less than a minute. This is Storybook Square, the original spot with cabins at the resort. I love this place, it's awesome. But again, I just wanted to show you the parking's not quite as convenient, it's still not bad. Yeah, I just wanted to show this to you, show you how beautiful it is, but also show you kind of the distance from the parking lot to the resort itself. But this is Storybook Square. added a few and taken away one. Have you yeah, noticed? It's way back there, the one we stayed Oh, at. they moved it? No, they didn't move it. Oh, way back there. Oh, the trees have grown. So that was kind of fun seeing this section of the resort. That's where we stayed last time. Oops. And they've added a few more cabins. It looks beautiful. Yeah, they added and... Stillskin and the Gingerbread House since we've been there. So, oh, and Jack and the Beanstalk. And Jack so. and the Beanstalk, so. Yeah, and um, we were just talking to the people who are in Jack and the Beanstalk right now, and they were saying it sleeps six too, and it's quite large. So yeah. that's the thing I love about it. We were thinking of going to a hotel, you know, and checking out Calgary. We would have probably paid more for a hotel. Oh, yeah. You know, like this is a great price for a large 
large family. Like, and what a wonderful so thing to do with your family. Yes. Like, and, and enjoy yeah. camping, but have the amenities of, of a hotel room. Yeah. From just talking to the people we were chatting with, sounds like the owner is hinting at maybe putting air conditioning in these units, which I think would be awesome. It would be. Like, um, given how hot it gets. They're all in the new area, so yeah. Wonder Way has them, but Storybook Square doesn't have air conditioning no. yet. I, I would bet, I mean, I don't know. I have no inside info except what they just said to us. I would bet it'll be coming. Yeah. So like I mentioned, it is a little, Storybook Square is a little farther from the parking, but it's still not bad. The it, hard part about it is it, there's kind of a hill. There's like kind of a hill. you pull up your bags and um, stuff, so that can be kind of tedious. So that and the AC are kind of the reason I would book at the other location. With that said, they get AC here. It's really, I mean, I mean it's so comparable and the cabins are so magical and neat for the kids. Yeah, that oh, is just the cabins awesome. are great. Like Rapunzel is still one of their best sellers. Oh, it, it, you know, it, and you can see why. It's beautiful. beautiful. Rumpelstilt's getting so cool. All of it's awesome. So we want to thank you guys for watching our video on Charmed Resorts. This is just such a little slice of magic and fun in Alberta, Canada. Great trip if you are thinking of going even up to Lake Louise, like that's not too far from here. So you go up and hit up the mountains and see the Rockies. So it's a really cool place to make a whole trip of it. And there's a lot to do around here. There's a museum of uh, rock slides, there's lakes, lakes. there's so, so much, much to fun. Do. So I highly recommend going to their website, booking it on there. All Please. their information we're going to put in the description. All their information will be in the description below. I, I think this is something we'll do every year. Yeah. And if you didn't know too, you can actually rent this out for weddings, family reunions. So you could have each family unit be in a different building and then you, they each have their own house, but you're together. There's just so many options and cool stuff that you can do here. And they're open all year round. So even in the winter, if you wanted to come when it's snowy so yeah so thank you guys for watching make sure to take a moment like and subscribe check out charmed resorts website absolutely and as you're kind of leaving here i'm going to show you some of the locale what it looks like here at night because they mm -hmm. light it up really yeah. cool but with that said thanks for watching we'll see you next week thank you bye, bye. bye.